Fresh catfish from the lake. Let's clean them and cook them. Welcome all back to the channel, everybody. I am the Lake Fork Guy, your culinary guide to this outdoor to dinner table experience. The shoreline to the to the dinner plate. Yeah, I really did, really didn't have anything there. We are at the treehouse today. I'm teaming up with OSG to do one of my favorite meals with uh, catfish and big crappie that I catch is do a blackened recipe. I don't even know the full details of the recipe. That's where my lovely wife comes in and she makes these grits that are phenomenal. So uh, I'm going to walk you guys through that because I think this is something you can you can do at home. You'll really enjoy it and uh, now's a great time to catch fish in the shallows of all species but it's really good on the catfish because it's firmer meat and if you've never cleaned a catfish before it is different than cleaning other scaled species of fish so we'll get into that in just a second first of all bird check as you guys saw we got more chickens we got a new flock but however we've got trouble we've got trouble in paradise um, I'm actually already missing a bird the bird is not missing. I know where it is, but uh, the big, the big black bird that was a mix between a Jersey Giant and a Moran is now gone because it started crowing. I thought it was just a huge hen. Turns out, it was a rooster. It turns out, we had three roosters. I knew this guy was a rooster, and many of you commented. You're like, dude, you've got other roosters, and I didn't want to believe it. I kind of knew it, but I didn't want to believe it. Turns out it was true, confirmed. Cockle doodle do, the whole nine yards. Uh, they've been in here like fighting each other. Anyway, a buddy of mine, mullet man, uh, he needed he needed a rooster for his flock, and we haven't gotten any eggs yet. No eggs thus far, but it's coming. If roosters are starting to crow. I'm sure the, the hens will be laying soon. I'm also up in a stylish middle-aged man knee brace right there check that out popped a limit ligament out or something so about once a month it pops out and uh you know it's really tender to walk on i can't you know can't really do much hence the bank fishing video from last time anyways just wanted to get y'all updated now let's get into cleaning these catfish so i've had these catfish on ice overnight I usually like to put them on ice either overnight or 24 hours and then clean them. Now, if you want to clean them straight away, by all means, you can do that. Uh, but as the water starts getting warmer, I like to put them on ice and let the meat firm up a little bit. They're just easier to clean. Uh, it's just, uh, you'll see. When you clean a lot of fish, you'll see how the, the meat texture kind of changes. So anyway, let's go over some tools. Uh, that are going to help you guys clean these catfish. I got some of these food grade gloves off Amazon. You don't get the slime, you don't get the uh, this, the pokes. I use one of these little boards, these cleaning boards with a clamp on it, a pair of pliers, or in this case I've got a pair of, of catfish skinning uh, pliers. This is These are made for this. You can fillet a catfish and float the blade over the skin. I'm not skilled enough to do it that way. Uh, it takes a lot of skill, a lot of practice to be able to do that and get a lot of a lot of the meat off of there. I like to have a real sharp knife just for carving out the skin and then just a regular old fillet knife. No electric fillet knife today. Then the other thing you're gonna need is a bowl of water. Try to make it cold water. I put up a few ice cubes in there. It'll get the blood off of there and it helps keep the meat cool. Okay, so I'm gonna take my catfish I'm gonna put that little clamp in his jaw. And then I'm gonna take my sharp knife and I'm gonna start tracing out the filet. Catfish have uh, this shoulder meat right here. It's not really a shoulder, but they have meat all the way up right close to their head. So I'm just gonna take my knife right up there. And I'm just gonna break the skin. I'm not gonna go in too deep at all. I'm just going to go until that skin breaks and then I'm going to trace it down the back of the catfish all the way down to the base of the tail you guys are going to see what I'm talking about with a sharp knife 
if you do this, just makes your life easier. If you have a real sharp pocket knife, you could use that. I'm gonna kinda go down towards the belly, just outlining that fillet. All the way down to the tail again. Okay, this is where our pliers come in. And we're gonna grab this point right at that top part near the head of the catfish. And we're gonna pinch and just pull this skin. And where we traced out our meat, it's just gonna come right off there. So all that skin we just traced out and that could just be thrown away now. I have a fish bucket that I keep, a little garden bucket. I just put it beside the cleaning station. That's where I'll throw everything while I'm working. But now we have this nice skinless uh, piece of meat right here and all we need to do is take it off. So we'll take our regular fillet knife. We'll come right down here. And we just wanna go right down that spine. go ahead and go all the way through where that tail is and then there is your fillet so now you just need to cut it off of the rib bones so I'll put this back over this is kind of an awkward way for me to do this directionally but I'll try to do it this way for you guys so then you're just going to cut it away from those rib bones and you can just kind of trace those down real good meat right there. Just cut it away from that back area. And there is your catfish fillet with the shoulder, shoulder meat included there. It's a nice juicy piece of channel cat. Now it's just time to do the exact same thing on the other side. Whole goal is you're just trying to be as proficient as possible with getting the most meat off of the fish. If you don't have a sharp knife on this skin, this skin part, um, it is going to be hectic for you. If you guys want to see how to get them razor sharp, I can show you. You can just comment down below. You know, go all the way through the skin. You just don't want to cut in too far. But if you don't cut all the way through the skin, you'll end up with little pieces of, it's like silver skin, like sinew in your, uh, your meat. You should get that little flap going. Just get a good grip, grip and rip. And if you cut it real good, you can usually get it in one, one shot. Okay, another nice fillet. You'll see a, bit, a little bit of yellow meat towards the, the top of the catfish, like in that shoulder area, that's perfectly normal. You just take the whole, whole thing right there, you've got your ribs and all of your guts, it's really not bloody much at all, you just throw it in your bucket. You know, put it by a base of a tree, get some nutrients. I think you can actually use catfish skin to back, a, to back a bow. That would be a hell of a bow. A catfish back self bow. Kind of crazy. Interesting look at the meat difference between two species here. There's a lot more white. This would be more what I would anticipate for <laughs> like a striper. Looking, it looks delicious. Big shad eater, and I think blue cats really—they focus on shad a lot more. 
we came out with a good bowl of catfish meat y'all i think we're gonna have way more than what we even need for for our family with that bigger blue cat in there just one side is is enough to feed one person so beautiful clean up the tools and equipment let's head on upstairs let's get with osg and uh let's talk about this recipe in the kitchen with osg that's what i was waiting for here we are all right we are so uh, this is part, uh, this is the second part of this video. I just got done cleaning this fish. I'm gonna have to get the other one. Get him, get him in there. Yeah, I got him. Oh man, <laughs> starting to cry. He's just like, don't crawl. do it, mom. Don't just do let him crawl. Oh. This is why Lake Life family videos <laughs> don't happen. This video could take two hours. This is why. Make. This is why. We can't. It's just too much. It's too much. You got, you got one, you know, peeing on the floor over here. <laughs> you got the other one trying to stick his fingers in light, you know, power sockets and grabbing sister's toys and brushes and everything. He wants to move. He wants to move, but the hardwood floors and I can't watch him the entire time. He still kind of freaks me out when he's crawling around because he's not the most sturdy baby. So, catfish. Right now, OSG has got three little tabs of butter in uh, this little, this is a cast iron. Mm -hmm. So right now you're cracking up some garlic. Yeah, I thought I'd spice it up a little bit. Normally, you can do grits pretty normal with nothing else in it, but I like to either add some bacon or some green chili. You know, you can use little jars of green chili. I don't have those, so I'm using this. It's okay. essentially just the same thing. I got the butter. We're gonna add some garlic. Let those kind of roast for a minute. I don't want some crunchy garlic. You know, make them all nice and soft. While this is sizzling, you're gonna go ahead and add the grits. We kind of get them all covered with the butter. And with grits, kind of like oatmeal, a little bit goes a long way. So you just want enough to like cover the bottom of the pan. You don't want to overdo it because this will actually turn out to be, it'll it'll turn up like all the way at the very, very top. Oh, expansion. Expansion. So just the butter. I've never watched you do this. So just the butter mm -hmm. with the grit. Mm -hmm. It helps absorb all that butter. And garlic. Delicious. Mm. Smells amazing. Now you can do milk, you can do heavy cream. I've done half and half before. Like half milk, what half you, heavy what's cream. What's best? What do you prefer? Milk. Just the whole milk? Yep. Don't use that skim stuff. Oh no. Why would you want to do that? Whole milk. So you're gonna let it bubble. And you're gonna do this a couple times. So first you're gonna add in a little bit, just enough to cover. Gonna let it cook and it's gonna thicken up. Thing with grits is like it's a constant stir. So you're here at the stove for like an hour, just a constant stir and back and forth. <laughs> now I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of the green chilies. You could add it with the garlic or you can do it while it's cooking. Either way. Don't mind our baby. Just, yeah, just plop it in there. No need to measure. <laughs> no, there's no measure. Give you a one, two, one, two plop. Okay, you think that's enough? You want more? I think that's good. That looks pretty good, yeah. These aren't going to be too spicy. They're just going to add a little bit of pizzazz on there. No, I don't know. This one's a medium heat. Medium? Let's see. I don't think this, this is Emmy approved. This is, uh, this is from your, your family recommended this. Yes, yeah, so my dad actually got this for us, and he actually gave me this one because it was too hot. So how long is it? About 30 minutes, you said? If you want a super juicy grit, you go about an hour? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so towards the very end, you'll add your... I like to add cheese and oh salt, pepper. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. I think that was five times you added milk. Mm-hmm. Well, just about. Taste test. Would you like to try? I would. Okay. I haven't added the cheese yet, but it's pretty good as is. It's hot. Mmm. Texture's great. Mm hmm Getting there. It's still a little crunchy. Ooh, a little spice on the back end. Uh-huh. Like it. 
if liking it. Ben wants it. I'm telling you, cooking in the kitchen with me is will never be the same after having oh, kids. Oh, pumpkin head. All right, so, tell us about the spice blend. Spice blend, I always do paprika, garlic powder. We always do smoked paprika, uh, garlic powder, salt and pepper, oregano, and this time I added a tiny bit of sugar. So we'll see if that, like, that sweetness does a little pop to it. Oh, okay. Never done it before, so just a little bit. A little sugar goes a long way. It does, especially with that butter. We got our fish. Took the blue cat, chopped it into uh, halves. And then I'm just gonna coat these both sides, right? Mm -hmm. Or just one? Uh, you can do both sides. I don't fully coat it, so it's like, I kinda of dust it off a little bit. And then you bring it on over here. Put it in the hot skillet. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's going on here right now. I don't know, but they... As long as they're not crying. <laughs> not crying and not fighting. We'll go with it. This is the advantage of having two. You know. Oh, it's only gonna get better. It's only gonna get better from here. When you got two, they can entertain themselves. All right, final step of the grits. While well, we got the fish going, now that they're all cooked, is adding the cheese. Mm. We don't measure in this household, so. You want to please me? You got cheese, man. You do like a good cheese. Okay. Is that good enough? That's good. Okay. Probably that's good. Some say it's a culinary sin to put cheese with fish in any kind of dish, but. Uh, well, they're kind of hidden in the grits. We won't, we won't tell they them. They are. There's just a little bit of stringiness, and you're like, what's that little smoked cheddarness I, I tasting? Mm. So I'm going to say about five minutes each side. Probably gonna be good. I'm usually the fish checker. Um, you are. You're my fish checker. Catfish, catfish are generally pretty firm. When you start seeing the fish turn a bright white color, that means it's getting cooked. So you start seeing that on the edges first, and you just want to make sure it's like that all the way into the center of the fish. And that's how you know it is good. So how are those mm. cheesy grits? Those cheesy good grits are good. Unfortunately, I don't think Emmy's gonna eat them because they're spicy. It's more for us. <laughs> more for me. Mm. Not a problem. Flip our fish. It's got that slight flavor crust, which is good. That, that blackening, that's all the seasoning gets just clumped together and kind of gets burned a little bit. It's just like a flavor explosion. We got a whiteness. Pairing up in there. I, I think most of these are probably done. Let's pull, let's pull a couple of them off. Okay. Pull the small ones off first. I missed you on my trip. You missed me? What are you talking about? On my trip. On your trip? Ooh, Did you just get back? A little bit of crust. I just got back. Okay, watch out. This is very hot. The splatters. Hey, go hang out with your brother. He's crying. Come back, Emmy! He's, he's I want you to come back. Where did my friend go? There we go. A little bit of blackness on Oh yeah, there. and that just came out. So Look you know that. that's ready. Folks at home. That's what do we think? Is this big one done? Um, that one's pretty thick. That's like a steak. Yeah, it's pretty thick. Okay. That's the that's the top part of the blue cat here. We'll put them over to the side. We kind of got to get all this cruddy this stuff off. This is a pro tip. Pro tip. Wooden spoon. Scrape it around. We should just go do this in the camper. Go camp by a river somewhere, catching cats. Yeah. Doing, doing <laughs> river things. What? Come on now. Do you? Like, we didn't have Mom, all the interruptions. Dad? Mom, Dad. What? 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 We can just let the kids swing from the trees. Do you want to Free go range kids. on an animal hunt? An animal hunt. We were just talking about that, sweetie. We were talking about going to the woods, doing a little hunting, a little camping. Maybe going in the camper, you know what I mean? Emmy, do you want to go on a camp camp out? Yeah. Where do you want to go? If you could go anywhere, where would you want to go? In the woods. In the woods. Yeah. You camp. That's my girl. And, but what kind of woods? Like where? What woods? And the deer lease. With the deer lease. This is my girl Ooh. talking right now. Make me a little play. Sit over here. 
corner. You know, this is the this is dad's chair. Every house has a dad's chair. It's like a designated zone. You know, kids get off dad's chair. It's delicious time, y'all. So we've got the butter mixed with the black milk seasoning. This is the uh, end of a blue cat right here. Oh, you just had to come take a look, didn't you? Uh-huh. You want to get a taste? No, I'm fine. You're fine? Uh-huh. Okay. All right, well, Daddy's going to have a taste. And these grits look amazing. Cheesy green, cheesy green chili grits. The perfect starch to go with this. Okay, let's break through a bite. It is bright white on the inside. That is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. The texture of a catfish, it's just firmer, so it makes it perfect for doing this. Mix it with those grits. That's phenomenal. Those green chilies really mix in well too, yeah. Pretty outstanding. Absolutely my favorite way to have catfish. That is so good. Mix in a little fish with that starch. Mmm. Flavor's definitely there. Is that not amazing? Little kick. Catfish texture. Mm -hmm. it's so good. Take a little piece with your fork there. Show the folks. A good oh, bite. I'm going to get you the perfect bite here. Okay, okay. Oh, you put sauce on there? You are such a cheater. You're not supposed to see that. Wow. Nope. I asked you to make me some sauce. You don't, it does not need sauce. Mm. It doesn't. You're right. Mm. Is that phenomenal? Yeah, because it's really not spicy. It's perfect. Yeah, it is. All right, stepping outside to close the video out. His baby, <laughs> baby Ben, is just going nuts in there. He's hungry, but I'm telling you guys, if you try that recipe, you will not be disappointed. It is delicious. Um, and I already showed you guys how to catch the catfish in the previous video. Right now is an excellent time to go do it. So if you've never, never caught catfish, it's real easy. It's fun, and they are tasty. Keep them. Check your local regulations and cook them up with that recipe. I'll have the ingredients listed down below, but you guys saw in the video how OSG did it. She was masterful. And those grits, I'm telling you, they're the perfect complement to that. So smash that like button, because I promise you, you're gonna love it. And thank you guys for tuning in to another video here at the house with OSG. I know it's kind of chaotic sometimes, but I love it here. Hope you guys love it too. I will see you guys on the next one. God bless you, God speed. Seconds. I don't normally go back for seconds, even on my own food. Oh my God. I'm glad you're documenting this. So they can see how much I'm really Mom, don't feed up. <laughs> hey, I'm still She loves her catfish. <laughs>